Hi everyone! In this video, we will be sharing some highlights on our recent trip to Italy. This is our first time in Italy and also our first trip overseas since the pandemic lockdowns. We were very excited but also a little nervous traveling to somewhere we have never been to or speak the language. Before we delve into this video, do check out our other video on Singapore Airlines Business Class Flight Review. Also, if you like our videos, please remember to click the subscribe button. Thank you! After a 4-hour train ride from Fiumicino Aeroporto to Venezia, Santa Lucia, we arrived to a cold and rainy Venice. The weather stayed like this for the next couple of days. Nonetheless, there is something about Venice that even in the rain, it is still so beautiful. We stayed in Palace Bonvecchiati for three nights. The rooms were very spacious, comfortable and clean. I think we had one of the best sleep in this hotel during our trip. The location of the hotel, being in the central San Marco district, allowed us to reach the other districts without too much walking. The next day, it was still drizzling, just a few minutes away from our hotel, we crossed over the busy Rialto Bridge and explored the market. The market was bustling with the smell of seafood in the air. We continued to walk around the San Polo district. Even though we already had breakfast, we couldn't say no to these delightful sweet treats. We had a splendid lunch at Cantina do Spade. This was our first sit-down meal in Italy and Robin had the bigoli pasta with sardines while I enjoyed a squid ink spaghetti. We also shared a second main course of fried seafood and a house white wine. In the evening, we walked to the Academy Bridge to enjoy the picturesque and famous view of the Grand Canal before crossing over to the Dossoduro district. In Venice, you have to try a local food known as Cicchetti, particularly those with bacala or whipped cod topping. They are finger food typically served in traditional baccari. You order your Cicchetti and drinks at the counter 
pay for them, then consume them either standing around in the bakari or you can take your food and drinks out onto the street. Do be careful of the seagulls as we sadly lost one of our chiketi to them. This morning, we walked into a prestigious event celebrating 60 years of the Morosini Naval School. All the tourist attractions in the Piazza San Marco were closed this morning for the event. We decided to return to Enoteca Schiavi to have more chiquetti. Unlike in the evenings, the bar wasn't crowded at all. In the afternoon, we queued to get into St. Mark's Basilica. The entrance fee is 3 euros for each adult and you buy the tickets at the entrance. We then headed to Palazzo Ducale or Dodger's Palace for the secret itinerary tour. The tour is about one and a half hours and it costs 29 euros per person. Check the description below if you'd like to know more details. We were taken into the dungeons that held political prisoners and torture chambers that were not accessible without a special guide. This was one of our favourite tours as our guide shared very interesting insights to the history of the palace and the Venetian Republic. For dinner, we went to Osteria La Campania. We had the baby octopus in tomato sauce with polenta, tagliatelle with zucchini, shrimps and tomato, tagliatelle with fresh tuna, olives, capers and tomato, as well as fresh scallops. It was another delicious and enjoyable meal. On our last day, we finally got to experience Venice in the sun. We spent the morning exploring the Canareggio district. Thanks to the glorious weather, we got to taste our first gelato of the trip. We ended our wonderful time in Venice with Fritto di Mare from Fightland. Having learned our lessons with the seagulls, we stayed in the store to consume our seafood this time. We hope you have enjoyed our first travel video. We'll be back with more videos of our trip to Italy. Ciao!